a local startup has won the prestigious Halt Prize, earning one million US dollars and coming up tops over more than 200,000 participants. The Halt Prize is a global competition involving student for profit initiatives that tackle pressing challenges. The startup won for its project that makes science, tech, engineering, arts, and maths, or STEAM education, affordable. Now, called Stick'em, the learning kit involves connectors, sticks, and electronics, along with a digital platform accessible on any device. It offers ready-to-use lesson material and involves a one-time payment for the physical kit and a monthly fee of just 50 cents per child. The learning kit is now available in 11 countries, such as Uganda, with over 12,000 students using it. The project has also generated nearly half a million dollars in revenue since it co-founded in 2021. The startup founders come from the National University of Singapore and Singapore University of Technology and Design. And joining us now is Adam Adam, who is a co-founder of Stick'em. Now, Adam, congratulations on your win. Can you tell us what inspired this idea and why do you think it made such an impression on the world stage? Well, hello. Um, so STEAM education is more than just doing well in sciences or maths. It's about developing essential 21st century skills like critical thinking, problem solving and creativity. But the reality is that um, there are nearly a billion children who are growing up without access to STEAM education. And there are two main reasons behind this. One is that current STEAM education infrastructure is either too expensive or too complex for most public schools across the world to be using it. And two, there are not enough teachers who can teach these things. So when we realized this problem, we really wanted to tackle those two problems by creating a really affordable STEAM kit and pairing it with an online platform that's designed specifically for teachers of any background. Now, this is a global competition, and of course, the competition for this prize was quite intense. What were some of the biggest challenges you faced, and also how did you overcome them? Hmm. The profile of the startups that we saw in the Hot Prize, especially in the semifinals and the finals here in London, was incredible. They're working on all these world changing ideas, and everybody should check out the other ideas as well. And the team, the teams that were working on it were really, really sm smart people. And it was quite an experience just to be able to be there with them and learn from them and discuss and bounce ideas off of them. And one of the biggest challenges, I would say, was during the experience, during the um, preparation and working on our startup, the mentors, the experts of very diverse different fields were there to also provide us with advice and their perspectives. And of course, when you have such a wide um, group of people from different perspectives, they're also going to give you the contradictory advice from time to time. So for me, the biggest challenge during, um, the, during the period here in London was to identify what aligns with our long-term vision, what are the advice that we feel that we need to take and change the way we work so that um, it will bring us a step further towards our right. goal. Right. So can you also tell us more about these uh, Stick'em kits? How exactly do they work? And also, how do our viewers benefit from them? So how our kits work and how our ecosystem works is that a school would usually subscribe to an online platform and then purchase the hardware kits to be used. And a typical teacher could either use it in their ALP classes or their daily subject classes to, um, for example, teach them about science or maths. And after the theory lesson, after they learn about theory, the theory, they could reinforce their understanding through hands-on activities. For example, building a weighing scale to understand the concept of mass and weight, or um, building a rubber band powered car to be able to understand the concept of potential uh, elastic potential energy. So it, it is through the lessons that we have pre-made on the platform so that teachers don't have to spend time making all these lessons on their own and then using the kids to help the children, help the students actualize their ideas into something that they can physically interact with and also at the same time have incredible fun with. Right, there's definitely a very interactive element as we can see from the pictures there. Do you see a strong demand for these kids in Singapore, especially among the parents and teachers uh, so far, compared with the other countries? Hmm. Um, over the past few years, the demand for STEAM education has risen sharply, especially in Southeast Asia, where the governments are starting to realize that, OK, STEAM education is a necessity, is not a luxury for schools and the education systems to have. And therefore, you see a lot of governments, a lot of different um, educational bodies that are, prom that are suggesting or even imp um, mandating that STEAM education or different aspects of STEAM education be a core part of their 
school curriculum and their school education systems. So, and in Singapore, it's the same. Um, we have seen a lot of interest from the public schools in Singapore that are asking for um, how do we teach STEAM education? How do we conduct STEAM education activities? What kind of equipment should be used to support this kind of educational journeys for our students? So there is a pretty, pretty strong demand in Singapore. Right. And to further your goals as well, how far do you think the HALT Prize will help in achieving your objectives? Well, the million dollars is definitely a large sum, but and it's going to what is really going to help us is to bridge um, the gap that we had in terms of our ability to scale. So to be able to maybe right now we are making about 300 kits a month, but with this, we'll be able to scale that up to 3000 kits a month. That's essentially impacting over 12,000 new students, new children anywhere in the world every month. And of course, that's also going to help us um, support increasing awareness that such a product exists, that any school out there, even if they do not have STEAM education or specialized teachers to teach STEAM education, that they can still also conduct STEAM education in their schools. All right, Hadam, thank you so much for sharing about Stickum with us and also congratulations again on your prize win. There was a Hadam Adam of Stickum, the startup which has just won the $1 million Halt Prize.